This is part four of a discussion between my dad, George McAvoy, author of My Father, a Silent Films Pioneer, and me, his daughter, Suzanne Hopgood, uh, about his brother Dick during the time they were growing up, and now we're going to talk about them coming back after the war and what their lives were after the war. So you all came back from the war all at about probably about the same time. Yeah. Generally, the um, generally being discharged about the same time. Yes, I was discharged the tenth uh, of January of 1946. So um, I think Dick was I. I I think Dick was about two months ahead of me in being discharged, and and I don't remember where Henry <laughs> came in on that. So when you got back, what did Dick do? You went back to work in the in the hotel. All three of us went went to work, and Atchison took us all three back, and in the different locate, because Atchison had about um, seven or eight hotels. So that when I'm talking about him taking us back, or he had positions he could put us in. So, which hotels were? Wh what hotel was Dick at? Was he back in Augusta? <coughs> Dick was at the Rockland Hotel in Rockland, Maine. Oh. Henry was at the Elmwood Hotel in Waterville, and I was at the uh, Littleton Hotel in Lewiston and the DeWitt Hotel in Lewiston. So, how long did Dick stay um, at the Rockland Hotel? Not too long. It, it's. I knew that he. Um, well, I don't know. I can't answer that. I really don't know. I know that he and Joe. Um, I was surprised when they went out to California, and I don't remember when that was. Well, I think they went to Massachusetts first. I right? think so. Yes. Because I, I can remember they were close by when Grammy was sick. Because they yeah. came to visit Grammy when she was sick. Yeah. Uh, and they were close by, so I think it was after, that was early 60s, 1960, yeah. around, and so it was after that, I think they went to California. Because, mm -hmm. well, no, it must have been before <coughs> that, because Grandma used to visit them in California. Yes, she did, yeah. Oh, so it must have been quite a bit before that. Okay, so that's a, they know that. Yeah. They know, we don't know that. They, they know, know that. that. They know that. They <laughs> you know that better than we do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is there anything else that you remember about Dick? Of well, any of his personal characteristics when he was growing up, or anything in particular that you remember about the family or the house that you remember? I having? I always remember Dick. Like I said, had a quick temper, and he was in baseball. He was a catcher, and he was a good catcher. And I can remember this day that uh, we were playing this team, and this guy came sliding into home plate, and and had his spikes right up going at Dick's face and as I said Dick had a temper and this guy slid right into him trying to spike him and trying to injure him really and uh, Dick just tagged him out and I'm watching because I know Dick's about to explode but no he calmly tossed the ball out to the pitcher's mound and walked up the length of this guy with his spiked feet. <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> he didn't show any temper at all. He just, he just, <laughs> but he just absolutely let that guy know that <laughs> he could have it back. <laughs> now he wasn't in school, so how did he get in the baseball? What were the? How did you? Get it was a, it team? was a Lewiston town team. Um, oh, okay. So. Yeah, Henry. Henry was a pitcher, and he was a good pitcher. And he had a tryout with the Boston Red Sox at Yankee Stadium, and unfortunately, he threw his arm out about that time, and that ended his career. So. And so you all played in 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 really local leagues. Yeah, yeah. In baseball. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's where he got. Did he, did, was that a regular, I mean, he, did he play by baseball consistently in the time um, that you were in Lewiston? Well, we all did. We <laughs> When we had a chance to play ball, we loved to play baseball. All of us did. Okay. So. Well, I think that ends this segment.
so we will end the segment about your brother Jack.